Hermann Bakker. Hermann Bakker Freisen, born on June 18th of 1910 in Ludwigshafen on Rhein. Bakker Freisen received a medical education which he applied not for the good, but for conducting inhuman experiments on people. Although initially joining the NSDAP on May 1st of 1933, Bakker Freisen did not stand out in any way, working until 1939 as a paramedic and from January of 1936 assistant at the University Hospital in Berlin. His career as a medical torturer began in 1939, when Becker Freisen went to work at the Research Institute of Air Medicine, which was part of the Luftwaffe. The main task of the institute was to develop methods of rescuing downed pilots after their ejection and falling into the seawater. And already as early as in 1941, Becker Freisen was appointed coordinator of experiments on prisoners in concentration camps. The tasks set by the Luftwaffe leadership were as follows. Evaluate the effects of pressure differentials on the ejecting pilot. Evaluate the effect of cold seawater on the pilot's body to determine methods of seawater desalination. For this purpose, a special pressure chamber was created exactly by Becker Freisen in the Dachau concentration camp, which simulated the fall of a pilot from a height of 21,000 meters. The test subjects were prisoners. Experiments showed that if they fell from such a height and fell into cold water, death occurred almost instantly. The total number of prisoners who died in the altitude chamber is not known. In addition, while working on methods of seawater desalination, Becker Freisen together with colleagues actively investigated two methods. The first method is adding a huge amount of vitamin C to seawater. This kind of water unofficially received the name Becker Vodka. The second method is desalination of water using various chemicals. Again, as with other experiments, the effects of such methods of desalinated water were studied on prisoners. The first group was completely deprived of water and food. The second group was given only seawater. The third group was given seawater with an additive that eliminated the taste of salt. And the fourth group was given a solution of seawater and silver nitrate, which neutralized the salt. The test subjects in all groups began to show symptoms of starvation and intense thirst after a while. Prisoners very quickly began to lose everything, became restless, and many began to have hallucinations and delusions. To keep the dying alive, Becker Freisen and his colleagues injected special drugs that continued the suffering of the unfortunates. After the end of the war, Becker Freisen, like the other seven Luftwaffe doctors who worked in concentration camps, was accused in the so-called Nuremberg Trials of doctors. Interestingly, at the trial Becker Freisen was found guilty only of organizing experiments with seawater on prisoners, but the evidence that Becker Freisen organized and conducted experiments on prisoners in a barometric chamber was not found by the court for unclear reasons. As a result, Becker Freisen was sentenced to 20 years imprisonment for crimes against humanity and participation in war crimes. But as early as on January 31st of 1951, the sentence was changed to 10 years imprisonment, and on November 20th of 1952, Becker Freisen was released earlier. Most likely, it has something to do with interest of Americans in Becker Freisen's research, because it was only with the approval of the American Occupation Administration that Becker Freisen took part in the medical center in Heidelberg during his imprisonment. And immediately after the release, at the invitation of the US Air Force Command, Becker Freisen visited Air Force headquarters. The goals and question voiced during the meeting remain unknown and classified till this day. In 1960, Becker Freisen fell ill with the disease multiple sclerosis, from which he died a year later, on August 27th of 1961, in Linz on Rhein.